hey there this is chidanand from kratz info tech ng welcome to this tutorial on gitlab project releases now when we refer to performing project releases for any particular project the assumption is if at all the source code repository is on a git server now git mandates a kind of a release object that will bundle maybe the source code of your repository along with all the artifacts it could be binaries it could be dlls and maybe a bunch of documentation that has to be put out as a part of the project release now this may vary based upon the projects i'm talking about typical projects which are open source which are available on mostly github server let's say if at all i talk about minikube releases you will find the documentation about all the releases that happen to one of these tools minikube is one of the tools which spins up a single node kubernetes cluster the whole source code of minikube is on github all the releases also happen on github so out here you will find information about releases each of the release is tied to a tag a tag is nothing but a metadata in git i think it's a tag is the same thing be it any kind of a git server it is a simple metadata that contains information about uh, the particular commit now this tag has got a special meaning when it comes to project releases most of the releases are done based upon tags now if you take a look at this particular tag this tag has got information about all the bug fixes the upgrades that have happened who worked on what if something is going bad whom to catch hold of and stuff like that also along with this release the assets the binaries that are built specific to this version of the project that is going out is put out here now i will do a particular i mean i'll do a similar kind of an activity using gitlab now gitlab um, is nothing different when it comes to performing releases so out here there's a beautiful object a release object which has got all information about how to perform a release in gitlab now i will pick up a very very simple java based maven repository along with the source code i will first build this particular project create an artifact in my case it would be a simple war file along with the source code and the war file that is built as soon as there is a tag that is added and pushed to gitlab you will have an automatic pipeline that will get triggered which will not just build it but also perform a release based upon tags i already have the source code what i will do is i will just go ahead and create a repository on the server first and then i will push the code that i have locally so let me go and create a new project a blank project i will name it as gitlab maven sorry mvn web app release now i already have this project locally which is why i am creating it with the same name um let this be under my namespace and uh, i will keep it public so that you can refer to it i don't want any readme because um, all the source code is present locally i don't want to initialize the project all right so the project got created here now let me take a look at what do i have in my repository it's a simple java based maven web application kind of a project uh, out in the src there's a simple index.jsp nothing more than that a very very um, simple index.jsp and of course there is a pom.xml file now if at all i'm going to push it first of all i'll have to build this and uh, the most important thing is the gitlab hyphen ci dot yml file let me take a quick look at what do i have in this file now this is what is used for building the pipeline there are two stages one is called the first stage is called the packaging stage the second stage is called the release stage standard stuff nothing uh, you know different i just added few rules so that only whenever there is a tag there is a commit tag okay i'll tell you what exactly a commit tag looks like only then these two 
jobs will build so in the first packaging job all that i'm doing is i'm just doing an mvn package and the object or rather the base image that we took is mvn latest or maven latest image so out here it is a simple maven package now if everything goes well your object would get packaged as whatever is put out in the pom.xml file small stuff that i do along with this is i need to have the job id every job has got an id in gitlab so i need to somehow pass the job id from this job to the other job because out in this job i am putting out something called artifact Artica artifact is nothing but an object which has to be available to the next job otherwise if you know the basics of um, docker you can visualize that this particular stuff is run in one docker container and the next job is run in another docker container so there's no data that can be passed between this job and this job so i use an artifact called um, no i mean i don't have to name an artifact it's called artifacts i am going to put in few stuff out here one is of course the target war file now under the target folder my if you know the repository structure or the folder structure of any maven project uh, everything gets created in the target folder so i want to pass the war file to the next job which will do the release so when we do the release i just want the war file to be present there so i'm adding that there the other thing is how do i pass the job id so in this job dollar ci underscore job id will have the identification of the um, job that is running this job this is dynamically generated so i'm just echoing something called previous job id equal to this one i'm writing that into a file called var.env now i am attaching this as one of the reports i'm also ensuring that this vars.env is also passed as a part of the artifact now i will read or rather the default reading happens for the next particular job so that we will find our job id in a variable called previous job id in the next job another thing expires in never now all the artifacts are there only for a specific amount of time if you don't want that artifacts to expire this is how we put in so first job pretty much it will just package my particular project also write the job id into a specific file and make that available to the next object or next job in the next job it is called a release job it is a part of uh, the release stage that i've defined and this is the image that i'm using now this image is well versed for performing releases now there is some dependency and some rules which is you know pretty self-explanatory all right now i'm also trying to check if at all we get this job which is why i'm putting out uh, this particular printf kind of or an echo statement where i would want the previous job id because the artifact is all tied to the previous job ids so once i get the previous job id i can link that in the assets so that it will be available for download how to perform the release the most important part how to perform the release a simple uh, object called release uh, the tag name these are some of them are mandatory stuff tag name commit tag whatever you know whatever the commit tag that we're going to put out the same particular tag will show out in the release version description you can put anything that you want reference i don't think so this is mandatory and this is just another thing which has got the commit id assets what all files do you want to make available as a part of the release so the source code automatically gets um, packaged we would want the war file that is built by the previous job so i'm going to refer to that using this particular url ci server url project path jobs and the job id now this is why the job id is important for me and uh, this job will not get the job id of the previous job uh, because uh, it's all dynamically generated so writing it to a particular file and grabbing it out here and using that in my uh, release object
all this source code is present locally. So let me just do it and commit it and then push it to the server with a specific tag. All right. So now I'm on the same folder, uh, git init. All right. The default branch is called master. All right. Now git add dot git commit hyphen am uh, first commit some particular commit message that I want to give and if at all I say git log one line this will show the particular this is the commit id head is nothing but the pointer to the latest commit wherever you are and it is pointing to master now I can go ahead and put out a tag as well in case I want to so I will just say git tag what is the name of the tag that you want to give usually it starts with v i just put it at v 1.0 i can specify which particular commit and you know there's there are two different types of tag i'm going to keep it very simple here i'm just going to say git tag v 1.0 all right now if at all you say git log hyphen hyphen one line you will find a tag here now assuming you have 10 20 30 commits you can put the tag only to that particular commit which you think is a good enough commit to go ahead and build and perform a particular release you can put a tag to any particular commit id all that matters is this particular commit id all right so everything is set on my client i need to just refer to the server so git remote add uh, ssh this is the ssh repository url so i'm going to add remote origin all right and uh, git push hyphen u origin master all right now by default the tags don't get pushed so i'll have to push the tag specifically git push hyphen hyphen tags only after this you will find the tag also got pushed now if everything goes well let me go back to my job and check if at all a new pipeline has been triggered all right let me refresh this and uh, if at all i go to build and pipelines all right my job has got triggered i think it is finished the first stage or rather it is still in the process of finishing the first job all right the first job got over and let's take a look at the ids also let's remember the ids uh, seven three three nine eight seven six seven one nine that is the id now second job is running the second job is a packaging kind of a job all right now let's take a look at what is happening in the packaging uh, importantly i put out a echo statement which has got the correct id looks like it's got the correct id it has also put out the releases and um, file does not exist i don't know what does that mean uh, let me just take a look at the releases assuming that everything went well so two jobs these are a part of the same pipeline um, if take a look at this pipeline one pipeline which has got two jobs in it or two stages in it all right now where is the uh, artifact should also be generated because i put out the artifact as well all right you will find artifact that sounds good deployment queries where it releases yes deploy releases all right now you see here based upon v1.0 that was the tag that i specified uh, all the source code that automatically gets bundled i'm more interested in the war file now this is the war file if you take a look at what did i put out i just put war file as a name in the link and it refers to the job of the previous job which is nothing but the package job and a kind of an url which automatically should get me the download assuming that it is there so let me just click on this you'll find this or rather if at all i take a look at the url copy link address take a look at this all right now this is the job id important one and artifacts download file so if at all you noticed the war file or the artifact would have anyway got downloaded here which will contain the war file that i have built performing a release 
Uh, this is just a simple kind of a thing. Much more complicated thing can also be done on top of all these activities. I hope you found this tutorial informative. And as usual, my repository is a public repository. I will leave the link to that in the description section of this video so that you can refer to it. Please try it out. And in case you run into any issues, kindly leave me a message. I will try to address it as soon as I can. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you find my videos informative, kindly like my video and please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much.